Audio, field recording. Artist-led culture. Presented by Sluice. Episode 002. Picture, if you will. A flight to deepest northern Transylvania to the city of Cluj, the university city of Cluj. I've found Christina and Lucien in a cafe in the center of Cluj. I've we talked to them for over two hours. I thought what was interesting was how, although they come from a completely different social political background than we do in London, we all seem to be dealing with the same issues, <laughs> the same organizational issues. I thought that was kind of curious. Um, and then later that day, we find our way, we traipse to the edge of Cluj somewhere where it feels really remote but it's actually <laughs> it's actually probably uh, still only 10 minutes from the center up on the slopes on the as you're exiting Cluj and we find Alexandra and Matai from Matka Art Space and we sit there in the dusk drinking cans of lager they've got a real remit for well two uh, two it seems one is to sort of pair younger and more established artists together and the other is to really be outward looking um, and engaging across Romania but also across Europe and uh, further abroad. One of the questions I asked both projects was what, what's the difference between what they're doing today in their projects than how they started, so how has it evolved? I feel like a lot of artist-led projects sort of uh, wither away after two years, three years. So if you make the six-year mark or the ten-year mark, um, it's not because you've stood still. Uh, also, the, the, socio the socio-economic situation in Romania has changed in that time period, so how they evolved in context of the country, but also uh, in the context of their own projects, I suppose. So we launched the space uh, when? But after we graduated. Yes, we were four uh, colleagues, each from different departments. And uh, we discussed a lot what we do after we graduate. We're like, okay, should we go home? What, what can we do? There were, there were a few galleries in Cluj, but they, were, they already had their artists that were, they were working with. And uh, so we said, okay, let's try and do something for us and our friends and other people like that we like, or I don't know, other people like us. And we were really naive, like we didn't know what an artist run space is. We had to Google it. Hi, oh, I think we, this is an artist run space, what we have. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it turned out it was. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it was mainly for young artists. It slightly evolved in 10 years. Oh, we, no, it shifted. Yes, it shifted from that. To because margin, we also got old, so it shifted with our thinking. Well, I would say not old, older. <laughs> older. But, of course, uh, we we didn't have a lot of experience when we graduated. Actually, I would say zero experience of like exhibit, yeah, right? exhibiting, and um, also you didn't see a lot of exhibitions here. Or the one that you would see would, I don't know, the institutional one would be, I don't know, quite. Quite different from what uh, what you would see if you traveled abroad, or uh, and uh, of course in the school it wasn't a lot of focus on this exhibition making. The school didn't really prepare you for what you were to do afterwards. Like yeah, of course uh, it's assumed that you finished art school, and I don't know. It's not like you study there to be an artist. How, when do you become an artist or how do you learn to be an artist or what is an artist then? 
it's 2009 or something like that, it's, it's still something that, at least here, painting was considered more like art and not like I finished photography. And even though in other places, like, you know, it was photography is, I don't know, 150 or it's, you could say it's almost an old art. <laughs> not, here but it's still new media. Here it's like new media, <laughs> which was weird. But so we had no experience. But and by that time we weren't traveling outside the country, so we didn't have a reference to what's happening outside. Like Rom Romania was barely you could see on the internet, was oh, recently entered the European Union, like in 2007. Our only, I mean, this was our biggest luck was that in 2009, uh, a bunch of cultural managers, um, gallerists, okay. artists uh, decided not to be disbanded or to have studios all across the city and they said, hey, we found a huge building at a very good price, let's, let's all join forces and uh, rent the whole building. We were lucky to, to be able to have a space there because uh, it's something that I realized only later that context is very important. Mm. And actually I think context is it. So it's, you think, oh, and of course, yeah, man makes context, but before you have the chance to, I don't know, really influence your context, mostly the context will influence you. So now that you don't have a space, how has that changed? What's, what's different? I mean, how are you operating now? I mean, we haven't... I've always had a studio in my head. Hmm. So... <laughs> no, because, uh, for example, I, for me it was always fascinating, but... like. People have their studio, it's almost like they see it like as an extension. It's, it's always the mythologiz myth mythologization or myth uh, how to say mythologizing? mythologizing of the studio uh, within the art world, you know, the artist studio. It's like my universe, my. I mean, it can be, but I mean, it all starts in your head. So, and we didn't always have access to. A studio because we had a space but we didn't have a studio there so we ended up I don't know getting used to working whenever whatever at home even though we don't like working at home because you want home to be a home not to be a work Everything. and this is a strange stuff that happened and I'm seeing with others like with the pandemic you ended up people they, they think it's great to work from home uh, for a bit. For a bit, yeah. To get back to the question, like... It's not much different, because we, we did uh, exhibitions before, even when we had a space, we had exhibitions in uh, different spaces, uh, different cities, different countries, um, process. Oh, sorry, also you said that you don't tend to show painting. Uh, uh, what do you show? <laughs> no, so... as. As it was the context of the city, so, I mean, we had nothing against painting, like a medium, but we felt painting was overshown or it has, it had, uh, how to say, it was, uh, it was given a, a better, I don't know, the biggest importance. And coming, it had a lot of visibility. Yeah, it was the most visible medium. It didn't need out. Yeah, yes. it didn't need <laughs> us yeah, also putting the shoulder to, yeah, more painting. So, yeah. But medium-wise, we don't have a Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't discriminate. We, yeah. We felt it was... We show everything. <laughs> ...too visible. And of course, uh, it also created this uh, expectancy from, from I, I don't know, from the large public and from... Because uh, you had uh, in the media, you know, 
Oh, this painter from Cluj has created record uh, auction uh, prices. Now, and everybody just expected, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fin and I finished here painting. Everybody just, you know, selling, selling, like this is what's all about. And no. I think very important for us this year, it's the fact that we, we made a book about uh, 10 years of lateral and uh, we will launch it this year. And with, yeah, in Timisoara, in Cluj, in Bucharest, we'll uh, yes. launch it. And apart from this, we actually want, uh, because there's some changes in the, the legislative field in Romania. There's some, uh, they're trying to they, I don't know, realize the importance of culture. Because, for example, in Germany, or I, I don't know exactly in each specific country how the, uh, but I, I know for Germany, uh, because we have good friends there, and if you're an artist, they have a specific, fisc I mean, you, you are a specific, uh, they tax you in a certain way that, I mean, you, you are not some, uh, how to say, here, it's almost like you don't exist if you are a full-time artist. There's plans, there was, there's a law, there's plans of changing that, there's, we were part of, uh, uh, Many discussions. Yes. <laughs> Other yes. culture organizations. And actually we want to have more like a team building. We want to meet with other spaces in Romania uh, to see because things are, it's a very strange position that uh, we are in. Maybe together if we can find a way to uh, yeah, better be represented or to negotiate or to, I don't know, create a structure that... Uh, it's very... Uh, the art scene, the independent art scene, it's very... Uh, how to say... Uh, it is diverse, but it's very... everyone it's in there... Uh, you feel... You, you Some maybe just like, I don't know, 100 kilometers away, but you feel it like there's another world, there's another... So we need to find, I don't know, like common ground or... So the project in Timisada, it's called uh, Artist Run Team Building. It's also for independent uh, people working, working on in independent, I don't know, entities or something. They don't have team buildings. <laughs> There's no such thing. Yeah. And yeah, we realized that uh, there are many artist run spaces that don't apply for funding because they don't know. I mean, it's a very specific language that you need to learn, and we only learned it because of the paintbrush factory. And, I mean, you, uh, you know, there's many. They are they are afraid to, or they don't have anybody to teach them that language. Yeah, so. as you have art English. You know art English? Yeah. There's this specific way of talking about art, mm. which is pretentious and uh, yeah. yeah, full of neologisms or... Because you are applying to local government or uh, national government. You need to learn a certain bureaucratic language. We call it wooden language. I'm not joking, and it's a very specific way to talk. Nobody talks like that. It's in a way very, how to say, school, management think. talk, yeah. in a way. Yeah. Very, it's not something that you learn, that, uh, but that's the language they know. And, you need to adapt. yeah. I mean, we have applied internationally and it's completely different. <laughs> the, yeah. Application well, process. I mean, there is um, EU pots of money, isn't there? I think. Mm -hmm. For doing international, international. Well, I, I know that because we used to get it before we get yeah, it. <laughs> but the problem, so for example, there is EU money mm -hmm. even here. You can apply to European uh, grants. Yeah. But they go but, to the Romanians. But there's a very big but. <laughs> they are implemented in Romania, 
through a Romanian uh, uh, state organization, organization, state organization. Yeah. And that's where it gets uh, complicated. The, yeah. <coughs> and of course, I'm not implying that those persons, that the people employed there are there to make your life hell. No. But they have to follow certain yeah, rules yeah. themselves. Yeah. Uh, the system tends to be very bureaucratic and they're just a part of the system. So they follow the system guidelines, the rules. So if, if you, because and it's not something that you can learn somewhere, only if you work with someone uh, like steal your trade or that did this before. yeah, that did this before or employ someone that did this yeah. before you can otherwise I don't know, or, or of course, if you worked in uh, public administration. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what gets me about it in England, is that it's supposed to be grants for artists, but it's almost impossible for an artist to know the language. Because it's it, not art actually, language, it's in administrative Romania. language. Even there, yeah. I, would have, have expected, I would have expected that... But I mean, in Romania, there is no funding for artists. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's just for organizations. Yeah, okay. As an artist, you cannot apply. Uh, right? Okay. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's sort of ascending out of Cluj. Cluj is in the, is in the basin of a valley and we've just cl started climbing out one side of it. Realized we're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> the risked limb and life. <laughs> um, to run across the road because there was no crossings where we could find until we went around a block and we realised there was one. Uh, now we're just waiting for Matai and uh, Alexandra to arrive. The uh, Matka art project is six years old. It's on the ground floor of a not a, it's not a residential project space, but it's on the ground floor of a residential house. Doi, doi, doi. <laughs> We're here in Cluj. Why? Because we stumbled upon the whole thing in a way. Uh, we made those two exhibitions that would, I mean, we use this space like a pop up place to make some exhibitions that we didn't have any other place where to exhibit and uh, what was what was the rest like where why and uh, Matei and Alexandra and our colleague Alex who's not Which here is, with us when you started Metco how did it start mm -hmm. what was the okay. idea behind it yeah well I mean like the first two shows were easy because we already like had ideas for them but, but when we started start uh, Oh, how did they start it? Yeah, and well, why? There was this... Um, uh, Worldwide Apartments and Studio Biennale. Yeah, and I mean, the whole idea behind this uh, initiative was to make an exhibition in places that uh, are not uh, necessarily for, uh, necessarily for um, exhibiting art. Like, like you said uh, earlier, if people do this in their studios or in their apartments, like it was something like that, you know, like... Any, t any space that's not for exhibiting art. Yeah. Um, and we had this lying around. It was a deposit back then. It was filled with all sorts of things. And it was a good opportunity for that event. And uh, of course, when we started this, we were asking ourselves about the need of such space. <laughs> yeah, we were just uh, freshly graduated from the university and it was quite tricky for us to feel integrated because there was like uh, maybe an area develop well developed for uh, established artists to exhibit and also for, I don't know, artists who were also studying in the university. And we weren't figuring out Where's our place and our friend's place in emergency and establishment, if I could say so? We liked that uh, pun. <laughs> yeah, we used it for a project that got funded <laughs> between emergency and establishment. And this is because we always, like from our beginnings, we uh, 
we intended to break the rule of being a space which promotes this kind of artist or the other one and we were like let's bring out a mixture and see how what happens if we can if we exhibit very young and emergent artists with very established ones do how they, would they communicate yeah, do they get to be more visible as well besides how would they communicate can they help each other can a very well established and maybe older artists uh, be more effervescent and I don't know e be more included in the younger generation if it's uh, exhibited with the younger generation and we try to answer may maybe these questions and some others and what was the answer? <laughs> well, they could work well together yeah. years, right? some of them work really yeah. well together yeah. some of them maybe don't mix that well so but so yeah, since it was when, so since you started until six years later has your sort of mission statement changed now, or is it is that still? Uh, it didn't change. It uh, expanded. It, it yeah. I mean, we didn't try and ex uh, exhibit established artists with emergent ones from the get go. I mean, in the beginning, sometimes we were a bit uh, uh, shy. Shy, <laughs> yeah, shy in asking <laughs> some older artists if they would want to work with us. But actually, like all of them answered positively. Yeah, the answers were in a way answered. Mm, yeah, in a pretty and positive the questions way. Yeah. Got in way into, in and then way. we started uh, asking ourselves different questions yeah, because we couldn't always make exhibitions only on the idea that we should exhibit emergent and established artists and, and we, we make them communicate. And would have been boring yeah. to, uh, to ask of course. the same questions. And right? we wouldn't have get fun <laughs> we wouldn't get funding for that. No. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> the same it's not just generational, is it? Because I feel like you've got a real sort of uh, local and international connection mm -hmm. as well. Like, so like this here, I presume, mm -hmm. it's not just Romanian artists. No, 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 not at all actually. In this exhibition we have four uh, uh, for artists that we invited and the other ones were from an open call that we made and it wasn't the first the first open call because we uh, had two of them before two open calls or three or three mm -hmm. or something like that and like from the first one we, we also choose a lot of artists from different different countries we like like what we always looked for was somehow something that we we or I think that is like a complete fairness you know trying to be inclusive with all the categories of artists and we always consider that this sort of having an open call gets us to be connected with artists we don't know about or maybe artists we don't consider that they would like to work with us or are available and so on and it's like a never-ending uh, way of discovering. It's a manner in which we try to say, hey, we're here, uh, let's meet, and even though maybe for this open call we uh, gathered eight artists we chose uh, from, I don't know, 116 applications or so, we still have a second list with artists we are going to include in our future sub shows and so on, so we, we find, I don't know, we always looked through the manner we could, I don't know... Integrate, yeah. yeah. Pieces from artists in our shows that would fit, in our opinion. I would say that we are pretty connected with the national scene, just because we are looking at what is happening around. We are constantly, con constantly looking at what is happening in Bucharest, in Tuvishwara, in Yash or other cities which have lots of artists who are, I know, kind of young maybe, but also yeah. because it's easy to look around, like we're we all couldn't, We couldn't only exhibit our friends or, you know, people that we already know. But also, so I mean, try to an artist run project, I think, is always about trying to expand your own network, it's about making friends. Yeah. <laughs> <It is. laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looking is. all over the place yeah. yeah and it's very interesting uh, if you uh, if you see how others work how other artists run spaces work for instance we are 
hoping to be able to uh, run a project this year during which we are going to collaborate with six artist-run spaces from Europe and we are going to do like it's going to be called the alternative exchange and it's also a project which is adapted uh, to the fact that artist-run spaces don't have enough resources to run like a, a la carte program if you want and uh, it's called the alternative exchange because we are doing uh, artist swaps like we found five uh, artist run spaces from Europe from Sofia from Bulgaria from uh, Warsaw Poland from uh, yeah please from, from Vienna yeah. Austria from um, Frankfurt as well Germany and from uh, I forgot I mean yeah <laughs> It's on the list. There are on the list. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what we the this method is, this is an, you've organized it. It's an ongoing. I, I I mean it's a future project and it, it is going to happen only if we will get the funding for it. And since the funds don't permit us to have traveling artists, like our artists could not travel to the to the partner countries, we are going to do an artist swap and like. The six art spaces from Europe are going just to send us artworks from their artists. Matka means uh, a sort of gathering, and in a way, that's I mean real because we have some people that are close to us, and, and it's also we are a sort of a gathering sometimes. Fusa's audio field recordings will be recorded on the fly and released periodically. Visit Fusa.info to see what we've done what we're about, and what's in the pipeline. Doi, doi, doi.